Mercury, mythology. Mercury, Latin, Mercurius, is a major god in Roman religion and mythology, being one of the twelve dii consentes within the ancient Roman pantheon. He is the god of financial gain, commerce, eloquence, messages, communication, including divination, travelers, boundaries, luck, trickery, and thieves. He also serves as the guide of souls to the underworld. He was considered the son of Maya who was a daughter of the Titan Atlas, and Jupiter in Roman mythology. His name is possibly related to the Latin word merx, merchandise, cf. merchant, commerce, etc., mercari, to trade, and merces, wages. Another possible connection is the Proto-Indo-European root merge for boundary, border, cf. Old English merc, Old Norse mark and Latin margo, and Greek omicron rho omicron sigma by analogy of Arcturus slash Rho Kappa Tau Omicron Rho Omicron Sigma, as the keeper of boundaries, referring to his role as bridge between the upper and lower worlds. In his earliest forms, he appears to have been related to the Druscan deity terms, both gods share characteristics with the Greek god Hermes. He is often depicted holding the caduceus in his left hand. Similar to his Greek equivalent Hermes, he was awarded the caduceus by Apollo who handed him a magic wand, which later turned into the caduceus. Mercury did not appear among the numinous the indigites of early Roman religion. Rather, he subsumed the earlier De Lucrae as Roman religion was syncretized with Greek religion during the time of the Roman Republic, starting around the 4th century BC. From the beginning, Mercury had essentially the same aspects as Hermes, wearing winged shoes, Teleria, and a winged hat, Patassos, and carrying the Caduceus, a herald staffed with two entwined snakes that was Apollo's gift to Hermes. He was often accompanied by a cockerel, herald of the new day, a ram or goat, symbolizing fertility, and a tortoise, referring to Mercury's legendary invention of the lyre from a tortoise shell. Like Hermes, he was also a god of messages, eloquence, and of trade, particularly of the grain trade. Mercury was also considered a god of abundance and commercial success, particularly in Gaul, where he was said to have been particularly revered. He was also, like Hermes, the Roman psychopomp leading newly deceased souls to the afterlife. Additionally, Ovid wrote that Mercury carried Morpheus' dreams from the Valley of Somnus to sleeping humans. Archaeological evidence from Pompeii suggests that Mercury was among the most popular of Roman gods. The god of commerce was depicted on two early bronze coins of the Roman Republic, the Sextons and the Semuncia. When they described the gods of Celtic and Germanic tribes, rather than considering them separate deities, the Romans interpreted them as local manifestations or aspects of their own gods, a cultural trait called the Interpretatio Romana. Mercury, in particular, was reported as becoming extremely popular among nations the Roman Empire conquered. Julius Caesar wrote of Mercury being the most popular god in Britain and Gaul, regarded as the inventor of alt arts. This is probably because, in the Roman syncretism, Mercury was equated with the Celtic god Lugus, and in this aspect was commonly accompanied by the Celtic goddess Rosmerda. Although Lugus may originally have been a deity of light or the sun, though this is disputed, similar to the Roman Apollo, his importance as a god of trade made him more comparable to Mercury, and Apollo was instead equated with the Celtic deity Bellinus. Romans associated Mercury with the Germanic god Votan, by Interpretatio Romana. First century Roman writer Tacitus identifies him as the chief god of Germanic peoples. Mercury is known to the Romans as Mercurius and occasionally in earlier writings as Mercurius, Mercurios or Mercurios, had a number of epithets representing different aspects or roles, or representing syncretisms with non Roman deities. The most common and significant of these epithets included the following In Virgil's Aeneid, Mercury reminds Aeneas of his mission to found the city of Rome. In Ovid's Fasti, Mercury is assigned to escort the nymph Larinda to the underworld. Mercury, however, falls in love with Larinda and makes love to her on the way. Larinda thereby becomes mother to two children, referred to as the Lares, invisible household gods. Mercury's temple in Rome was situated in the Circus Maximus, between the Aventine and Palatine hills, and was built in 495 BC. That year saw disturbances at Rome between the patrician senators and the plebeians, which led to a secession of the plebs in the following year. At the completion of its construction, a dispute emerged between the consuls Appius Claudius Sabinus Regulensis and Publius Servilius Priscus Structus as to which of them should have the honor of dedicating the temple. 
The Senate referred the decision to the Popular Assembly, and also decreed that whichever was chosen should also exercise additional duties, including presiding over the markets, establish a merchant skilled, and exercising the functions of the Pontifex Maximus. The people, because of the ongoing public discord, and in order to spite the Senate and the consuls, instead awarded the honor of dedicating the temple to the senior military officer of one of the legions named Marcus Litorius. The Senate and the consuls, in particular the conservative Appius, were outraged at this decision, and it inflamed the ongoing situation. The dedication occurred on 15th of May, 495 BC. The temple was regarded as a fitting place to worship a swift god of trade and travel since it was a major center of commerce as well as a racetrack. Since it stood between the Plebeian stronghold on the Aventine and the Patrician center on the Palatine, it also emphasized the role of Mercury as a mediator. Because Mercury was not one of the early deities surviving from the Roman kingdom, he was not assigned a flamen, priest, but he did have his own major festival, on 15th of May, the Mercuralia. During the Mercuralia, merchants sprinkled water from his sacred well near the Porta Capena on their heads. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.